What's up, hackers and pentesters the shadow brokers here back again with another video. In today's video, we are going to learn how to port forward without a router from Android or PC. Sometimes we need to run our localhost website or server over the internet. To do this, we need to forward our port so that other devices can access our site from anywhere in the world via the internet. Usually, we can forward our port by configuring settings in the router, but if we don't have a router or don't want to use our router or not have static IP, then we have a straightforward option. We can remotely forward port using SSH. This method is also applied by professional hackers to hack devices over WAN remotely. Also, you can host your local server over WAN too. To perform this, we are going to use two free services called servo.net and localhost.run. These can be used to port forward from your Android device or PC, obviously, you will need an interface like Termux on your Android device. These services use SSH to forward TCP ports. The best thing about Servo and localhost.run is that it doesn't require any installation or sign-up to use it. So let's see how we can configure these two services for port forwarding. Here we have an Apache 2 local web server, and we want to host it over WAN. So open up the terminal and type sudo service apache2 start command to launch the apache web server. Now it's time to host the server over WAN. So type this command to port forward via servo. sshr80192.168.205.130.80.0 servo.net. Now hit enter, and you will get a custom URL from servo. That's it. You can now access your server from outside your network through that URL. If you don't like the subdomain or it doesn't look genuine, you can set a custom name according to your choice. To do that, simply give this command. It will provide you with a new subdomain. Here you can see, we got a new subdomain. The other method is using localhost.run. Well, it is almost similar to servo.net, then why are we adding this? Because these free services sometimes go down during overload on the server. If one service is not working, later we can try another. So type this command to port forward via localhost.run. If it prompts for RSA fingerprint, type yes and press enter to continue. In these results, we got the shareable link in the last line, and we can use this link to connect SSH. Using these methods, we can forward port without a VPN or router. This is so easy to configure it, and the connection is stable unlike Ngrok, because Ngrok is not much stable in the free version. There are so many students out there who don't have a router or can't afford a good router. Port forwarding is very important in the field of ethical hacking or penetration testing. You can't go to the next level if you can't port forward. These methods or services help people like you or like us. Also, don't underestimate this service. These are used by professional hackers too. If you have any questions or problems, check out our Servo and Localhost Run article link in the description. And if you have any idea for future videos, send me a message on Twitter. Otherwise, that's all we have for today's video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.